need you to stop accepting bare minimum behavior from these men. Too many women are like, well, he texts me good morning at least two, three times a day. He texts me in the evening or the afternoon and he always checks in with me via text as if that's something that takes effort, as if that's. <laughs> so again, but this is, I will say, even though these videos are really, really annoying, it is interesting to get the perspective from women about what they think and feel is going on with us when we're texting, right? Because she's saying a text, that's not a lot of effort. Now, I as a guy know that on my end of things, if you're a guy that just met a woman and you're taking her out, you're sitting there agonizing about what thing can I send her next that's not going to make me look needy and look desperate and is gonna want, is gonna help me, uh, help me help her build me up in her head to see me in a positive light what's gonna do the thing that's gonna make her laugh me funny and i don't know about you guys back in the day even before texting was the thing i would go online and try to look up like four or five different things that i could talk about with a girl on a date and then have it in my pocket like a piece of paper in my pocket with the subjects on the paper so i'd know what to talk about now the woman i was dating were probably thinking he just threw me up whatever subject. No, I did research on those subjects. So for this woman to be like, ah, oh, that's just, that's not any effort at all. This is, this shows you the disconnect that women don't know exactly what kind of effort is going to the things that you as a guy are doing. But more to this girl's point, right? She's saying, well, just because he's texting you two or three times a day, just because he's sending you a good morning text, just because X, Y, and Z, that doesn't mean that that's maximum effort. That's just lazy. What if it's not? These are the women that are going to grow old and buy a dog and die alone because they're not appreciative of anything you're doing. Like, again, we have women complaining, guys don't do enough. But then when they do do stuff, well, he did stuff, but that's the bare minimum. I can't accept the guy just texting me. I can't accept the guy just asking me for dates and just taking me out and just seeing me. Like, that's just not enough. But for the dating phase, that's exactly what they deserve. They don't deserve any more than that. They don't deserve concert dates. They don't deserve you overextending yourself for more text. Because again, as I found, giving women that, you know, you're thinking they want that. I found that typically turns women off for reasons that we'll get into at a later time. But anyway, continuing on. Something to shout about when it's really not. He's giving you a little bit and you're accepting a little bit and making it seem like a lot. Now, here's the thing. I will give her credit to say she did. She does point out that like sometimes women, when they do like you, they will overread things to where there are guys out there legitimately that are actually giving less than the bare minimum. And women are just snatching up their breadcrumbs because like, oh, he showed me a little bit of attention today. So that can and does happen. Um, but hold on, let me get back to what she, I, I missed part. Hold on a second. Go back a second here. Uh, here hold a little second. bit, And you're accepting a little bit and making it oh, yeah but in the beginning a woman should be happy to accept your little bit because the reality is again women healthy women that have a good head on their shoulders for them building attraction for you is going to be like toning a, a dial and so they're expecting at the beginning hey very little you're going to text her a couple times you're going to ask her for a date you're going to take her out it ain't got to be overly fancy. I've done pizza dates. I've done coffee dates. I've done P.F. Chang's. I've done picnics. I've done walks on the beach. And those are all fine dates, right? And then they expect, because they want to get on a date, because for them, it's about the feeling you're giving them. And so without all these extra distractions, she can get down to the nitty gritty of what things are you making her feel? Can she trust those feelings? And are the things you're doing consistent from date to date? And it's a lot easier for her to measure your consistency when you're giving her what I call uh, realistic expectations. Like if you take her out on the first date to Ruth Chris, which is like $250, you're the next day. If it's, it goes from that to like being like golden corral, she's going to think that's a little funny. How are you able to do such an expensive date on date one, but now you're down to golden corral money. Like that's a problem versus if you start with like a golden corral and then you build up to Ruth Chris, it's like, Oh, he knows what he's doing because he's slowly dialing up my experience each time. I'm not going from the greatest experience in the world to like low level. I'm starting at a low to mid tier and then each time it's incrementally going up and then it goes back down a bit and then back up again and then down. So I, this is now consistent between our dates and women will trust that consistency more than you trying to do all the things. So yeah, she should be appreciative of the little effort you're doing in the beginning of simply asking her out to learn more about her because there's proving ground on both ends. She needs to be proving herself to you just like you're trying to prove yourself to her. And with each subsequent date, it's going to be more acceptable to do things a bit more with, with a bit more uh, extension based on the level of trust you're starting to build. 
for women to think you she deserves all that on date one or by date three you should be giving her all the things or that you're just doing a little bit here and there to try to get to know her is it's not good enough after one month those are women that again are going to be hard to deal with long term and they do not deserve your attention seem like a lot and what you're doing in that process is setting him up to continue giving you bare minimum behavior and at some point in the relationship if it grows or in the situation See right there she's saying at some point in the relationship if it grows so again she still has the mindset that you're doing this behavior in a relationship again you're doing this bare minimum behavior in the dating phase where this is like the safe ground this is where both all people understand for the most part hey we're dating each other we're trying to find out about each other but we don't owe each other this. And so just like I assume you might be seeing other people, I might be seeing other people, that's fine. Therefore, it's fine not to give your all right now because we're giving our energies to different people to test things out. Situationship, you are going to realize that you set yourself up for failure and you set yourself up to continually get the least when you deserve even more than the most, right? Because so she's saying that as a, she's talking to women now, you deserve more than the most. And that is true when you are in a relationship with her, when you've established you guys are boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, fiancés, whatever. That is when you are giving the most. But in the beginning, and, and this is what I think, because I think people, I understand the, the idea of like texture of language and words. Like people hear terms like bare minimum and giving and this, all this stuff. And they think like, oh, bare minimum is so disgusting. Oh, I don't want to, that, that makes me feel like I'm less than. But the reality is when you're dating somebody, you're just trying to get to know them to see if they're worth you giving your all in. So yeah, when you're dating somebody, you might be only giving like 50 to 60% of what you're fully capable of. And that's fine because as you're getting to know them, you're going to be able to see if the woman you're, that's in front of you that you're dating is actually worth giving that more to. But the mistake guys make is they're giving all this more on these first dates and these second dates and these third dates because they've heard women complain about, I just need more. And say, I've done it. I've literally taken women on first dates to Disney on ice. I took a girl on a first date to a Beyonce concert. And guess what, guys? Spoiler. None of those resulted in me dating these women for more than two or three dates before. She's like, uh, I'm just feeling you like a friend. Oh, so you're saying me giving me the max, me giving me the maximum benefit on these first dates somehow didn't translate to feelings for me. Isn't that interesting? And yet women that I've taken on dates that were cheap, like I'm talking like 20 bucks a plate. I'm talking like walks on a beach or doing hikes. Those are the ones that resulted in me getting into like long-term relationships. So I only go on results. Hey, I wish I could take women out on these high fluting dates and it'd be like, oh, $200 dinner. You can have my pennies right now. I already want you. That's not how it's worked out for me. Hey, maybe it's different for you guys. Let me know in the comments if it's worked better for you doing overly expensive dates or overextending yourself early on versus later. I found for me, that's not what happened. Your worthiness and your value is divine and inherent and it cannot be quantified. So no matter what some- So now she's saying to women, you know what, what your worth and what your value is, it can't be quantified. And therefore men should just give you all because you're you're not quantifiable. The dumbest thing I've ever heard. is giving you, no matter what you're experiencing, even at what feels like the best, you always deserve more. And so does your partner, if that partner is a healthy partner. Women, with these kind of mindsets, stay forever single. Look at somebody like Vivica Fox, she's what, 60 now? She dated 50 Cent back in the day, couldn't make it work with him, still stuck on him, but more importantly, she's a 60 talking about, I'm ready to get married now. You know what, some guy needs to just come along and do the things for me, but also I have standards and I wanna accept the bare minimum. I'm like, she is 60, objectively, she cannot set standards anymore. Like now, she has to take what she can get because these guys out here that are also 60 can get 30 year olds. 40 year olds. A guy, I'm a guy in my 40s that can realistically get 20 year olds, early 30 year olds. I can also get 40 and 50 year olds. Like I can run the game. But the point is, like, I have the choice now in what I want to get. So she's playing a losing game and she's teaching women to also play a losing game. And this is where women start to lose. All right. You the bad boy, but you can't stop. Won't stop. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.